Today's conflicts are fought at high-tech levels. The aggressor has state-of-the-art multi-purpose combat aircraft, attack helicopters, missiles, bombs and much more. High-performance computers monitor, analyze, update and operate the various weapons systems. Targets, military installations and troops and civilian targets must be protected effectively. The observer surveys the airspace, identifies enemy air and ground targets on the basis of the actual threat situation and transmits his observations by voice radio to the Stinger guided missile fire unit. This allows the Stinger team to schedule operations precisely from as far away as possible. Provided there is good visibility, the observer spots by watching and listening to adversary air targets on the ground and in the air. He can identify them through his binoculars and memorize their direction of motion with the aid of distinctive natural features. At night and in bad weather conditions, the observer uses an infrared thermal imaging device. With the aid of this infrared thermal imaging device, people and objects that emit different amounts of heat become visible. Alpha, Posten 101, Bravo, 5. Not, Link, Not Safe, 21 Uhr 45, Charlie, Terra, Delta. Verstanden, richtig, Schluss. Der Ballner, da Konfiguration ist statisch. The Stinger alerting system is used by an observer group consisting of a group leader and six observers. Dosi wird in Puch 1 stationiert und der Kanal ist unsere Nummer 18. Irgendwelche Fragen? Keine. Gut, ausführen. The complete Stinger alerting system and the rest of the equipment can be loaded on two cross-country vehicles with trailers. Fully equipped, the observer group is able to carry out their mobilized mission autonomously round the clock for several days. Ideally, the Stinger alerting system should be set up in an elevated position. The observer group can ready the system for operation within an hour. Air and ground observation information can be useful for both the military and civilian authorities. The radar antenna may be operated on the trailer with an 8 meter high mast or on a 3 meter tripod.
The radar antenna monitors the airspace within a 35 km range. Transmitter and receiver are the core of the system. Here the transmitting pulse is processed and the target signals received are evaluated. The control unit is the interface with the observer. Auxiliary equipment are used to suppress jamming and for testing purposes. Aircraft and helicopters reflect the radar pulse and send them back to the system as target pips. Based on the position of the antenna and the signal delay, the radar calculates the target's position for the observer. The system can graphically display a great number of targets, such as helicopters and aircraft, on the screen. The observer assesses the flight movements according to certain criteria. A spoken warning with details on target type and flight paths alerts the Stinger fire units. Training installations with simulated flight tracks permit the observer to be drilled with alert messages at any time of the day. The observer starts the exercise by entering all the necessary data into a control unit. Alert messages are checked for their correctness and form an exercise score in conjunction with the entered data. The exercise score is collected centrally and assessed. Training is possible on a fixed installation with 24 stations, or on two mobile installations with 12 stations each. The main task of the observer team is to alert the military and civilian authorities in good time about aerial and ground targets. To fulfill their task, the Stinger alerting system now provides them with additional modern sensor technology. The acquisition range of an observer team increases tenfold. Thus, the Stinger alerting system considerably boosts the 24-hour operation capability of the Stinger fire units. With 24 alerting systems, the observer teams of the anti-aircraft artillery can assist in regional airspace surveillance for military and civilian authorities throughout Switzerland.